today on the web. Web users react to the local elections in Great Britain. The blogosphere is shaken up by a new slavery scandal in China. And the day's pick of the best. Voting took place yesterday for local elections in England and Wales. The blogosphere is fascinated by this ballot, largely seen as a popularity test for the current Prime Minister, the Labour Gordon Brown. Criticism towards the head of government is as heavy as it is violent. Here, a doctor attacks his incapacity to reform the health system, whereas this compatriot expresses his exasperation over tax increase. A theme which lies at the heart of the campaign. In this webcast, web users' initial questions to Gordon Brown concern the reasons for this rise. Another recurring theme is safety. On Facebook, the leader of the Conservative Party, David Cameron, asks every police station to publish on the net, on an interactive map, the list of crimes committed in their area. This blogger thinks that Gordon Brown's unpopularity is due to the unfavorable economic economic situation, as well as a feeling of weariness towards 11 years of Labour government. The Chinese police have freed 167 children who had been sold to work as slaves in factories in the region of Guangdong. Reactions worldwide on the web. This announcement comes nearly three months after the Chinese blogger Zhu Alun had attracted the attention of the international blogosphere with this video about the lives of three orphans who worked as coal carriers. For this blogger, all these scandals give even more reason to boycott the Olympic Games in Beijing. This American man asked people to stop buying Chinese products. However, the anti-slavery organization have put this map online which shows that slavery is an international tragedy and there are figures to support this. 17 million children under 14 work in Latin America, 50,000 of them in Peruvian mines. To try and stop this phenomenon, UNICEF organized a conference mid-April in Florence in Italy. This video summarizes the experts' conclusions. The Ethiopian blogosphere is mobilizing to defend the singer Teddy Afro. Teddy is one of the most popular singing stars in the country and in Africa. He was arrested as a suspect in a crime committed two years ago. Some of his fans are accusing the state of wanting to hush up his sometimes submersive songs. With over one million regular viewers, the web series We Need Girlfriends is a huge success on the web. It's about three young men who get dumped after high school and try and rebuild their love lives in New York. The series creators are now stars in Hollywood. All this a creation of the...